Hi there everyone and welcome back to another Planet Coaster video here on the Bramfleet Productions YouTube channel and welcome back to another Theme Park Creations video. So in the last episode, in episode 5, I left you off with these two brand new rides that I actually built which include a Cheroplane style ride here along with a merry-go-round inside this little castle building which I've actually done here. So before I actually um, move on to episode 6, I just want to go through uh, the names of the ride, just to reveal the names. So for this um, chair plane or way swing, whatever you want to call it, I actually named this the Royal Swings. So that's, that's the name of that one. And then for the um, carousel, we named it the the Castle Horses. So that is the, um, the two rides that I actually created in last week's episode. If you haven't checked out the series yet, make sure you go check it out. I'm going to put a link um, to the playlist. It's available on the channel for you to watch. And seriously, uh, this park is absolutely looking so much better than it did all those weeks ago. Anyway, moving on to episode six. In this episode, I'm going to be building not one, but two brand new junior coasters. Because at the moment, we've only got one uh, family coaster, uh, which you can see here, which is the Green Dragon, which I actually built way back in episode 2. But in this episode, I want to build two smaller uh, junior coasters. Uh, this is why it's called um, Building Two New Roller Coasters. So I'm actually going to be building two junior coasters. And I'm just going to show you which ones I'm going to be putting in. We're going to be putting in... And let me find them. Um, we're going to be putting in like a, a spinning coaster here. So they're going to both be spinning coasters. We're going to be putting in this little spinning coaster here. And we're going to put in a wild mouse coaster as well. Uh, I don't think they'll take that long to build. But I've actually got to build the queue scenery. Then theme the ride up. And yeah, so it will take quite a bit of time. Because I'm actually building two roller coasters. And plus this video is actually going to be filmed over two days. So... I'm going to be doing one, one coaster uh, one day and then of course I'll then finish the other one the next day. So in this video I'm actually going to be um, doing this coaster here and then in the next day I'm then going to put this wild mouse coaster in here. So it's going to be quite a bit of a busy episode. So sit back and enjoy watching these two roller coasters being built.
so, you, so there you go then, so that is literally the first junior coaster built. You can see here, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, it was, it did take a little bit of a while to build because I thought I also had to um, go with some of the theming uh, because this coaster mainly takes place around trees. So what it does, when it goes around the track, it literally spins around and you've got all these trees uh, surrounding the I can see. So it literally um, spins around and you've got all these different trees uh, surrounding the track which makes it really, really natural and that's what I actually wanted to go for. But you can see here, so you've got the... Um, the trains in the station, there was literally one train, now I've actually added an extra three trains and of course I've made the station a little bit of a, a scenery environment so we've got lots of um, bushes growing into the station you know, just to make it even natural along with candle lights and flower lights and some hanging baskets of flowers you know, just to make it even more natural. So there you go then, um, we've also got the uh, queue line as well so I've actually added some flowers, some bunting, some lights I've added a pond with a huge water fountain uh, which um, guests can have a look at when they're making their way around. So yeah, that's literally the end of coaster number one. Now like I said, this video is split into two days of building and editing and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to move on to coaster number two tomorrow. Thank you very much and good night. So then, so one down and one to go. So this time we're going to be building the second junior roller coaster. So far the park now has two junior roller coasters and now this is going to be the third roller coaster. Because in a few episodes time I'm then going to be moving on to building a log flume. So that is something for you to look forward to uh, throughout the coming weeks ahead. But for now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to start to build this awesome wild mouse spinning coaster get it themed up and then I'll show you the final results for both of these coasters at the end.
Right, so that is literally the end of what has been a really, really busy, action-packed episode because literally I've actually built not one but two junior roller coasters and they look absolutely fantastic. So what we've got here then is we've actually just finished building the Wild Mouse Ride. It's not one of the most exciting coasters because uh, it's meant to be designed for kids because you've literally got like the classic layout. So it goes up the lift hill, then it goes down the drops. As well, I might try and see if I can try and add some more spinning uh, somewhere because I've literally managed to get it to spin around here. But I think I'll probably go back later on in my own time and go back and see if I can add some spinning uh, down these drops. But yeah, seriously, it looks absolutely fantastic. And we've done two junior coasters, and also if I get the time, I'll also come back and do some theming as well. But seriously, they look absolutely fantastic. Both coasters look amazing, and uh, yeah, it looks really good. So, what Again, I've added in the trains, there's seven trains, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so they literally just keep going around so it doesn't, um, you know, so m many people don't get left waiting. Again, I've actually added in some scenery, some plants, I've got like a little stage with a jester on there, on a the horse you can just see over here. I've got like a fountain, and we've got like a little tent, another water mountain. Water fountain, sorry, not water mountain, I mean water fountain, sorry which we've got here and then we've just got like lots of other trees and sceneries as well because the aim of this park is to make it as natural as possibly as I can because I've actually done the same with all these um, different rides I've actually built over the past few weeks and seriously um, we've actually, we're actually getting really really close to opening the park um, to the guests for the very first time but yeah seriously um, this is episode 6 uh, last week was the um, halfway point because I was literally building uh, two rides over here which were the carousel and the um, of course the um, wave swinger as well but yeah we are getting nearly close and um, in next week's episode which I think will be episode 7 um, we're actually going to be building I was just thinking in this little blank area section here I think it would be really really nice to have a nice little car ride if I can find it so I think we should have a, a nice little powered car ride uh, going around this little area over here because it, it seems a bit blank and I think a little car ride would fit absolutely perfect in that area so that's what is going to be happening in next week's episode so thank you very much for watching this episode of theme park creations and remember keep on filming and keep on editing see you all in the next video